Hello everyone, Kamatsu here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Mega Man X. I'm fully stocked up, so let's get started on taking down the Sigma Fortress. Gonna get a small cutscene here with Zero, and it basically sums up as, I'm gonna be in this direction, and then you move it. Gonna use the Storm Tornado here, because we got a bunch of these still running around, and the, those germs there, which, well, they like, they really like to mock you. Yeah. Now, for this part, we have a bunch of platforms that are moving left and right, and we're gonna have to, uh, kind of platform around them with these guys. For some reason, I have a hard time, uh, dashing on these platforms. Of course, the alternative is to just wall climb the outside. Turrets in this area and these things are just gonna fire wave everything. I think this is one of the last times I actually see these uh, this little weird two legged walker things. <laughs> it's file and zero. You can't catch me? Yes, I will! Wait for me! Enter this room here and we'll get some sound effects of a battle. Apparently, Files Carrier just got the last laugh. I, I hope that's not the case, but you never know. I mean, it is zero and oh, look at that! Sigma Brand Energy Cage. I think I can't defeat you! That's some forming torpedo! No, that's some chameleon something! Holy chill! That actually got to back pretty far. Fire wave! Take some fire wave! Storm tornado! You can't possibly win against this! Um, electric spark, maybe? Rolling color! Yes, the rolling color! Shotgun ice! Shotgun ice! Yes! Do kid you who I give it a shot at oh. Yeah, you can't win. You go there and I go over here, I'm going to mock you at oh hey, you broke out. So he's got so he's overcharging, and he's exploding, and that just cost him the use of his legs. But it also destroyed the right armor. The invincible right armor. And now it's just file. And for some reason here this never gets explained, but maybe I just taps into some sort of backup energy cell. And he gets full health. It's good, it's good. Ow. Uh -huh. Well, I won't try to do him, but instead we're gonna have to use his weakness, which is the Horming Torpedo. And yes, I am gonna keep calling it that, because that's what the game calls it. Uh, boss weaknesses in this game, they typically do 3 points of damage, which is the same as a fully charged shot. And in some cases, they'll reset boss patterns. Oh, 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 oh I'm sorry there, sir. I, 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 I kind of incinerated your face a ton. Now, if you did get the, uh, the uh, arm, arm capsule, Zero would actually give you his buster here. And that's pretty much the mandatory upgrade. The second of two. Unless you can find a way to skip the uh, leg armor. And there is a very good reason for that. So now we're just gonna have more alarms here. And uh, not. 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 Not quite. I'm not as bell gear as I would like to be, but I kind of don't care. Now this part's actually kind of annoying. Mace guys up here, we're gonna have wall turrets. Uh, enemies coming from the sky here. I'm just gonna use a uh, chameleon sting charge to just ignore most of this. I feel like not here. Oh, there we go. So that, that was nice. That was nice at all. And now we're gonna start dealing with the old Mavericks again. Starting with Boomer Kowalker. 
do is basically uh, forming torpedo, which is actually pretty nice because it'll help keep you out of range of his deadlift. Because you can just stick to the walls. It doesn't really reset his pattern though. It does kind of make him stare back though. And that's it. Oh no, you've defeated him again. Mets are back. I do want to get some help. My help back up though before I fight the next boss. And the Mets are more than happy enough to get around. Right. I'm hoping I'm able to do this, because this boss is actually somewhat annoying to deal with. And it's the boss of Sigma Fortress 1, which is a giant spider. Oh. Ah, it had to start with that attack. It wasn't even on the wall, it just launched. Ah. Come on, really? Yeah, you can only dash this guy when he reaches the bottom here, and his eyes are eyes are out. Uh, well, his core is out. And the weakness is Shotgun Ice, which I highly recommend you to use, because... Uh, as we move through this stage, we got more freaking spiders. Because as he gets, takes more damage, he gets faster and faster. And shotgun ice will always do it for damage. I was really hoping I get it. I was hoping I could do it again, though, because that would have ended the fight really fast. But he decided to start with the spiders, which he usually only does whenever you are uh, on a wall. But well, that's that boss taken care of the long way. As opposed to the short way. <laughs> Moving on to stage two. And Kabila needs to you And back to the farming torpedo. I usually try. Yeah, whenever I play any sort of uh, Mega Man game, uh, classic or otherwise, I usually try to find some use for weapons. And uh, coming up here, we got uh, the next Obituary Maverick, which is Chill Penguin. I can tell by the scene. Okay. Ow, I forgot. For some reason, the Hadouken cannot go past the shotgun ice. Well, uh, Chill Penguin here is with the fire blade, so. Why about fire? I'm not really sure why the ice being fabric is fire. Well, that's it. Enough of the shotgun ice. It's like, even with his weakness, though, you still can't hurt him while he's sliding. He's completely invincible during the ice. But it's still Joe Penguin. He's still just as easy as he was before. Just now even more so, because we can burn it faster. Coming up here, we got- oh, this jerk. Yeah, if you don't kill him fast enough, he will actually hop into his right arm. But if you kill him fast enough, you can take the right arm for yourself. And rampage! 
damage everywhere. Well, Rampage Strike was terrible. Out of the way. Can't take it up here. Uh, yeah, War Interview is actually a really good for those uh, turrets. Not so much for those turrets, but, well, it's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. I'm not sure if I can do this, actually. I'm gonna turn Hadouk and Stormy go, because I'm going to demonstrate this at least once. Come on, stop trying to dive bomb. Oh. Uh oh, uh oh. And in case you're not quite sure. Whoa! <laughs> okay, fine. Alright, round two, you. I really should actually screw around with the bosses. So. Back to using uh, Storm Eagle's weakness for the sting. I don't really want to take damage to him. Yeah, I died to him because I was too busy messing around, trying to show off the overpowered ability. But enough of that. That. I shouldn't use this. It's like, it's like, it gets to the point where we just don't feel like dealing with these guys anymore. Alright, well, now we've actually made it to the uh, second uh, fortress boss, which is the room. It's Vanga Bunga! And it's with the chameleon skin. Uh oh. Yeah, the gimmick is that each of its eyes they have, has a different attack, and when this becomes active, the walls close in. And as you can see there, wall has its own health bar. Well, it has three distinctive pieces. Each one takes up their its health bar. But if you destroy it in those last, you don't really have to worry about trying to deal with finding it while you're wall climbing, and it's a relatively simple boss. On stage 3, in which we are going to be fighting a lot of returning Mavericks. Kinda like that. There's not doing this anything anymore. So let's see here. This is. Oh! Now we can show off how easy this guy actually is. Hit it once in the electric spark, you electrify it, and all of his armor flies off, and now we can pretty much. Well, you no longer can guard your attacks, and you can pretty much hit him whenever you want. Uh, even while he's rolling. Also, whenever you, also whenever you uh, hit him with the electric spark, spark, he seems to just resort to back, back and try to shoot you. Such a bad position there. Oh, wow. 
Oh, rolling shield takes him out from death. Yeah, rolling shield's actually fairly powerful. I really do want to demonstrate this on the uh, oh, I've demonstrated on this on this guy. Steve Chameleon gets back and he's weak to the rolling gunner. Wait, no, boomerang color. Have I been calling it the rolling gunner up all this time? Wow. Because it's pretty good. It anyway, with the rolling the, the boomerang color, he's pretty much just easily pattern locked. Very pathetic. I had to get these get these power-ups while we need the boomerang up there. Never mind, I don't need the weapon energy that badly. Hey, oh, it's Spark Mandrill. Maybe I could demonstrate it on him? Awesome. <laughs> Got our hits. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, proof that it wasn't lying to you. It actually does 28 points of damage, which is enough to kill any boss in the game. And speaking of bosses, I know who's coming up next. Because it's underwater, you know. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, this might... Actually, no, I don't think I'd be able to. Uh, launch Octopus is weak to the rolling shield. Uh, I didn't cover it, but Spark Mandrill is with the shotgun ice, and when you hit him with it, he freezes. Oh, actually. One, two, three. Yeah, how about that? You hit, you hit it. Launch Octopus with uh, something sharp, the boomerang color, and you'll. Uh, Cut off his tentacles, which not only keeps which keeps him from using the homing, no, no, sorry, the warping, you know. Uh, it also keeps him from using his uh, energy which attack. So that's a neat little Easter egg trick you can use against him. So, pretty much a bed of spikes up there. And in order to get those uh, power power ups, uh, you'll well, you have to use uh, the shotgun ice charge. Let's see. Final Maverick rematch is against Flame Mammoth, and he is with the score for right Also, you can, uh, cut off his drop. Uh, and that will keep him from spewing oil. And also from switching the, uh, torture. Okay, well, yeah. Actually, we're right into him. Get away from him. Oh, I want something to move it and it's taking me away! No! I'm just doing it. Tell your secrets. Not a good, not a favorable position. But it's time for this boss, which I do not wish. Right off the name of it, it's an inspire, but it's weak to the Boomerang gun. And you have to hit the top of it. Charging up! Nice, nice. 
I have it. You know what? I have it. Lives. I. I'm trying to get it to go downward, but I wasn't doing that. A little bit of wrinkle there. I'm just gonna have to go at it with the uh, X Plus card. Was I standing on top of his eyes? I was, wasn't I? By the way, whenever they uh no, so the aim's upward. But it won't aim it down. But yeah, when you're standing on top of it and uh both your head and the uh body are in the same place, well it'll try to crush it. And of course, like all good uh fortress bosses. It gets faster than what we have. Ow. Ow. Crush cards. Oh, cards. This makes me wish for an air dash. I, I'm telling you. We've cleared out the uh, eight Mavericks again, and so the Fortress bosses, and all that's left is to take care of the uh, big man himself. And it's one large tower section. You know that it occurs to me that I never actually really showed off the other charge attack. Oh, this is Horny Torpedo. I should have been this game. Rolling shields. To uh, get some shields. Yeah, thrilling. Actually, does damage if you run into enemies, but that's. Let's see, I've shut off Fire Wave, incidentally. Shut off Storm Tornado. Shut off Ice. Boomerang Color. That's actually pretty cool. And electric Well, I'll, I'll show off electric spark when it's up. Uh, later. And those things there, they only exist just to try to get you weapon energy. I like to look at whatever that thing is in the background. It's like, look at that cape sickness bar game. Fix is so awesome. He's not even gonna deal with us himself. He's just gonna leave it to his pet wolf, which is, uh. So, I command you to stay in still. There we go. Now for the hard part. Uh. Valley Mangar, I. I think that's close to the same. It is weak to the shotgun ice. And Sigma here is weak to the electric spark. And if I fail that, you can which I might. Now, I will do it. Yeah, he can 
button. <laughs> you fool. You wall jumped. <laughs> you tried the wall jump, didn't you? <laughs> but unfortunately, the head remains, and now we have to deal with Sigma's final form. I suppose this is some sort of dragon wolf thing. Whoa. Uh. Trying to hit Sigma with Hadouken is hard. Uh, I believe it's possible. But you need to have the best of Other than that, he is weak to the Rolling Shield and it only deals two points of damage, as opposed to other boss weaknesses, which do. Oh, nice work out. Ah, no, not the fire. Which only de which deal three damage. With. Uh, and if you're thinking about trying to, uh, X Buster him, go ahead and this, you need the overcharged, uh, Buster Shot to even, uh, do a one point of damage. He's just, his armor is just that good. That's why Zero gives you his, his armor. Because if you run out of Rowan Shield, you can't win without it. What? I really would like to get this shot, but I'm just. I'm pretty poor. All things considered. Ah. I think I go. I think I'll be able to win now. Because I've got. He's getting low on health. And I've still got plenty of rolling shit left. Ah. And I walked into the very last hit. That was a, that was almost cool. Ah. I really do love the left Over. Oof. It's not possible. I'm a red boy. I can't be destroyed. Why, X? Why have you done this to us? Us? Who's us? So we're out, and Sigma's castle is floating castle, mind you. Uh, it explodes and falls into the sea. That flash will be quite bright enough to bring the dawn. So, we're just gonna take a moment to reflect on the battle that we just fought. Uh, the war has ended. Yeah, right. Peace has been restored, and those who sacrifice themselves will never return. Except for when they do. Huh. Funny how that works, isn't it? So why did X choose a fight? Was there another way? Of course there wasn't another way. Otherwise there wouldn't be much of a game now, would there? He's so sure that he'll fight the Mavericks again, and uh, yeah, he has some sort of singing foresight with that. <laughs> I... I could... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, it's on his hands or in his hands? Hey, anyway, stop contemplating Suicide X. This is only the first of eight games. Uh, wait, eight? No, ten. Ten, sorry, ten. I forgot that extreme exists. So, 
yeah, that's that. So now we get an enemy roll. Uh, no pictures to go along with them, so you're gonna have to try to, uh, uh, put the names of the enemies themselves. Thunder Slimer! What a creative mid-boss name. Death from Gummer, that's the name of Storm the ship about, to be brought down. I'm not sure why it got its own name, or why it's named Death from Gummer, but there it is. Mole Borer, even though it wasn't really much more mole. mole. Well, it was kind of a mole, it did make tunnels. RT55J, that's the, uh, the armor capsule boss. Bow Spider, Ranga Banga, D Rex, Velgada, that's it, that was the name. And the Mavericks, Mavericks hit their own pictures. Because they were already. Robert Robert Noah is actually kind of a fun boss to fight with other weakness. When you're, no, uh, you're not recording yourself. Stay Chameleon, not so much. Smart Man Drill is also kind of a fun fight. Even though I did <laughs> use the weakness on that at all, I just outright murdered the poor guy. Vile, who won't return quite as often as Sigma! <laughs> Zero, who will die, come back, die again, come back, and die again. And then come back, and die again. And finally, Mega Man X, in his full armor, which we will immediately ditch. Uh, save for the acceleration part. And that's pretty much that. Got a nice little TV screen in the background there. Uh, so, what do I think of the Big Man X series? I actually think it's actually a pretty, pretty nice departure from the classic series. You know, it has its own charms to it, its own gameplay mechanics. I don't really go back to X1 all that much, though, personally. Uh, I'll probably pl more likely play later entries in the series. The next one is actually a pretty solid foundation, has a lot of attention to detail. Uh, which other games in the, later on in the series will try to replicate, but not to the best of effects. This one of the uh, more wildly regarded soundtracks of the X series. But that's only like a really safe kind of thing. I mean, the weapons there are either hit or miss. I mean, I, I, like, I like the shotgun nice. Fireway. And the plot, well, I'm, I'm ignoring the plot. And the gameplay mechanics, they're, they're pretty solid. They work very well. The dash is pretty suitable for replacement with the slide, especially since you don't you only need to press one button for it instead of two. So that was Mega Man X. And You have only won a temporary victory axe. What you destroyed was only a temporary body. My spirit remains intact. In time, I will find other bodies strong enough to do my bidding, and I will return. I shall see Sirax very soon. Well, Hex. I'll see you in the next Let's Play project. Take care now. Hopefully.